name is Mrs. Lewis, and I am the pre-K teacher here at Green Elementary, and we are the Fantastic Hornets. Welcome to Green Elementary. I am so glad that they are coming back. How you doing? 94.9? 95.8? And I can't wait to meet my new babies because it is different from seeing them through the camera. Now they are physically here and I just can't wait. And I know we are going to have an exciting day today. Yeah, uh, excited to be back and to have uh, some number of our youngsters joining us for in-person instruction. As we know, we've been dealing with this uh, COVID uh, pandemic for the better part of the past year. And so um, we've heard from many of our, our scholars and families and community members just on the importance of having a variety of, of options for them that best fit their children's needs, their family situations. Good morning. Good morning, Brandon. How are you? On our drill day, I made an effort to, to go ahead and do the temperature checks in front of the building with the staff. Like I said, this is my first time meeting a lot of parents. I've meeting a lot of the staff. So it's, 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 been, it's been interesting. Yeah, it's been interesting. behind a mask. Behind a mask. <laughs> it's exciting and nervous in the same time because I'm super excited that the kids are in here. We've got hand sanitizer in each of their desks, um, sanitizer in the back. We've got wipes, we've got Lysol, so we are ready. Great morning, Team Green. It is now 7.45 and these are our morning announcements. We want to welcome our scholars back into the building for our Smart Restart. Scholars, we are so excited to have you back into the building, ready to learn, ready for high quality teaching and learning. So welcome back to our scholars. Let's get started, let's get started with our day, with our day. We, like everyone else, have just been really, really concerned about all of the different um, ways that this pandemic has hit us, and um, not the least of which, of course, is just the long-term impacts to our, our scholars and families. So we're excited to be uh, welcoming some of our young people back. We've got about 30% of our scholars coming back in for in-person uh, instruction. And thankfully, other families were able to continue with virtual instruction that allows us to have the kind of spacing and for us to manage the uh, health safety uh, procedures. I think it's a positive step um, in the right direction to begin the, um, the normalcy or to try to get things back to a point where everyone feels okay about what's going on and we're happy to have them and we look forward to the rest of them coming as well but we have to make a step so we have to try make sure your teachers know that you know you know there's a, a phrase you can you have to sometimes you have to go slow to go fast make sure they know that you can actually spend the time teaching scholars how to use the tool right you don't have to be afraid of pacing and all of that so you've got to build in time yeah. Yeah. to teach them yeah. <laughs> to use the device. Letting our staff know, our parents know, our scholars know that it's going to be a slow pace to win this race. We know it's going to take some time, we know that anxiety is up, we know that stamina may be down because we've been sitting in front of a, a computer for six months. So one of the things we really want to focus on is the importance of teamwork, letting each other know that we have each other back, Anxiety is going to be up, it's going to take some time, but we want to let them know that it's going to take baby steps and slow steps to get to the finish line, and that's the goal at the end of the year, so make sure that our scholars are getting everything they need to not only be successful in the classroom, but outside the classroom. This is Colonel Brown, I'm the senior arm of JRTC instructor at Callaway High School. At Callaway High School, JRTC, we're back in business. All our students are doing virtual, and some of the students are doing hybrid. Uh, again, uh, it's been a challenge, but we continue to express to our students that they stay safe so that we can have a very academic year for all our scholars at Jackson Public School District. Make sure office is in place, staff is in place, get our accommodation teachers to their area, mm -hmm. you know, no congregation, and then starting at 850, safety officers, admin, counselors get in place, get ready to temperature check, check in, they go to their area zone, get ready for the day. So what were your numbers um, for the two days? 
We were about right at both about 50, 55 percent. And then uh, we went through the um, procedures, rituals, routines, had some meetings that day, some um, conference meetings on Canvas and some more Zoom meetings with parents. So I think we're good to go today. We're expecting to get all of those that signed up for hybrid. We're expecting them in today. Okay. So we'll be ready to go. We've been spending a lot of time over the last really two, two years or so um, working through our bond construction projects and so we're excited to be here to see uh, some of the the outcomes of that uh, that work the entire gym is beautiful it's magnificent uh, everybody loves it our fans are so hurt that they can't come now but of course they'll have an opportunity they just have to see pictures now and dream but they'll get a chance to come uh, they're doing some excellent work in the science labs now as you'll notice when you go through you'll see furniture in the hallway those science labs are coming along great having heat is great uh, throughout the building. I think the signage outside on, on the roof, dedication of the, the front entrance of the school, the auditorium, gym entrance and exits, add to the, the excellence that we're trying to personify at Callaway. So those type of things, you know, along with the, the windows, you know, if you look good, you feel good, hopefully you perform good. I always taught my players that when I coach. So, Mr. Burns, remember, I used to always get new uniforms because uh, if you look good, you're supposed to play good. So we're hoping that since we look good, we'll perform good and uh, achieve the academic excellence that we're looking for. We're just excited to see some of that, um, those projects coming to fruition and to have our young people to see uh, some of the improvements and enhancements in their schools. Today, I think we're a little more prepared. We kind of know what to look for. The soft start really helped us out with getting people in place, making adjustments, uh, knowing what, what's working, what's not. Uh, it also gave us some time to add our social distance markings outside because we needed those outside as well as inside. And we need to order more for inside. With us being uh, still in a little bit of construction, it allowed us to do some workarounds, maneuver. We had to readjust teacher assignments, uh, classroom assignments. So those two days kind of gave us an adjustment period also let us know like what are more movement times like what time students are more apt to go to the restrooms so we can make sure custodians are there to follow the area sanitize and disinfect and it kind of gave our teachers some time management kind of concepts so they can know hey this is what the morning looks like this is what afternoon and this is what exit looks like so i think that helped us out so just uh, want to be real transparent that we know that that um, there are lots of folks who are still concerned and there's still challenges uh, around the world, really, with this pandemic, but uh, we're gonna do everything in our power to keep our scholars, our team members, families, everyone safe, but also just to be really clear about uh, the importance of young people having in-person options that will best meet their needs.